Gary Fox here, and uh, we're going to finish up the PNID controller. PID controller, I'm sorry. PNID has to do with something else. Anyhow, uh, we have modeled a car. We have a uh, look at our feedback and our reference, which is the uh, set point in this case is the speed limit the feedback is the speedometer gives us an error and then we're going to have a controller to replace the driver which is our cruise control in an earlier video we did it with just proportional that didn't get the job done then we did it in the last video with proportional and integral and that did do a good job now we're going to add the third and final part of that which is called the derivative control and uh, it looks at how fast the error is changing whereas the integral looked at how long and how much and uh, was reactive but it had a memory derivative is very fast acting it doesn't have a memory it's worried about how fast things are changing derivative is not used very much in most control systems and you're going to see why tonight. So we'll look at now at how I implemented this. The spreadsheet has grew a bunch. Last time we added the uh, integral error and the integral out. This time we're adding the derivative and the derivative out. Okay, I've changed these color codes. Anything that's green has to do with the car. And as you can see, I've got it. the limit set at 100. The max or the mass of the car is 10, and the aerodynamic coefficient is 1, just like we've set it at in all of these. Okay, I got those three gains: the proportional gain, the integral gain, and derivative gain. And I've got quite a bit of proportional gain tonight. Uh, and I currently have derivative gain at zero. Okay, I added two more things. Uh, if you think about when you're driving your car and you got cruise control, you're not really interested in getting the car up to speed. As a matter of fact, most con cruise control in any car I've had takes at least 30 or possibly 35 miles per hour before they even start working. And then most of my cars are standard transmission, so I'm still shifting gears till I get up to usually around 50 or so. And then... Where that comes into effect is once you're at constant speed, you set the cruise control. And then what I've got here is I've got the ability to make a couple of things. Either wind force, we, ha we run into a gust of wind, or we have a hill. And a hill is what I actually use in this. And so you see the hill is going to require an extra 10 of those force units. I uh, when it goes up the hill and then it go down the hill it'll have an excess of 10 so we'll see how fast the car can cope with that so we'll check take our look at our first one uh, let's talk first about how you calculate derivative all derivative is is that it looks at the uh, present number let's see yeah error it looks at the present number of, of what the speed is. It then looks at the uh, previous number, subtracts the two, and then divides by the time constant, or the, the sampling time, which in this case is 0.1 seconds. That's why the number got so big, because in this case, we're now, we just set the uh, set point to 55, because the light turned green. The previous, the car was running at zero so we have an error of 55 and then we multiply that time or divide that by 0.1 that gives us 550 which is a really big number so let's look at what the graph says okay first I want to show you I have a graph here that shows what the hill force is and you see that after a hundred seconds when everything settled settled down and the car's running at 55 at 100 
I think it's 130 if I remember right, seconds. This thing kicks up to, it's starting to go uphill. It goes uphill for 20 seconds, then it goes on a level top, and then it starts going downhill for 20 seconds. So I actually require less force during this time. So we'll look at what happens with our uh, car. And you can see right in here the, uh, the change that is being initiated. The total change is this green line right here. And then we'll have the proportional gain, the integral change, and the uh, the error. The error is the one we're really interested in. That tells us how much we go too fast or too low compared to 55 mile an hour, which is what our set point is. You see, I have a little bit of error still in here. It speeds up a little bit before it finally mellows out, and it slows up goes too slow before it mellows out. Then it goes slower again because it's going downhill now. And then it speeds back up before it resettles back in. So let's see uh, let's see what we got here. And see this shows the actual error. Uh, error is all I guess I show in these. Okay, let's see if we could tune this thing. We're going to add a little bit of a derivative in here. And so my first derivative I'm going to add, I'm going to have to go to my cheat sheet here. <clears throat> the first one I'm going to add is going to be a derivative of 5. So I had a derivative of 5. Let's see what happens to our graph. And you can see what happens at 5 is that it boots it. That's what I call it. It boots it in the butt. It gooses the car a little bit. So it makes it happen a little faster. Really didn't improve things that much. You notice the gain still looks, or the error still looks about the way it did before. So it didn't really improve things that much, but it did make these, uh, these things act faster. And you can see the derivative kicking in. As I said, derivative is not normally used in most uh, most of the controllers that I've ever dealt with. So we'll go up here, we'll set the derivative gain to 10, let's see what it does now. We'll go to 10, look at our graph, and you can see we're starting to get some ringing going on in here, where it overshoots and then says, well that was too much, oh, now let's add some more, not nope, too far. And it started going back and forth, a little bit of oscillation going on. You see, it didn't quite get up as high of a speed increase. Or error. The error wasn't quite as high, but it still has some there. So it mellowed out here at the start of the error, but it didn't, uh, didn't help the total thing. I could be adding a little bit more integral gain right now, probably to help that, but... I wanted to leave it all the same. So let's go back now and let's try it. We'll go 15. <clears throat> we'll look at this. And you can see we're getting a whole lot of overshoot going on here. This is not a very happy situation. Uh, that engine would not be sounding very good at all. And uh, the derivative gain is starting to become a very big part of it the derivative action is so let's go one more we'll go up to 20 and I don't know if this computer will handle this or not because I'm putting a pretty big load on it so now we'll go to 20 and our car is oscillating so bad that it filled in this whole thing uh, 20 just ain't going to get it. The car never did, never did act right in the whole time. Uh, if you go up here, even at the beginning, you can see what it looked like. Uh, yeah, it's not a good scene. So 20 is obviously too much. So derivative gain, derivative control did not really help us any. Uh, made some interesting graphs. But the whole purpose of derivative is to make the car faster acting, or to make your 
your plant, whatever it is, in this case it was car, faster acting for errors. Uh, you're actually better off to use extra proportional gain if you're going to do that. Let's go on real quick and try this at 10 again. And we're going to increase the proportional gain just, I'm sorry, the integral gain just a little bit. So we went from 0.5 to 0.7. Let's see what kind of graph we get on this. Uh, it really didn't help it that much. It did a little bit. The derivative is helping it here at the start of this error, but then the uh, proportional is not enough yet. I'm sorry, the derivative is not enough to actually help. Let's go ahead and try a little bit more. We'll try one. That may be too much. Uh, it's really not helping. Uh, so we've about got out of this thing all we can get. We'll go with five on this. Let's go six. <clears throat> it's helping some, but it's uh, it's not much. But you know we're only increasing by about one mile an hour. Sorry, yeah, decreasing by one mile an hour, and then increasing about a mile an hour as we mellow out. So. That would be really tight control, actually. Uh, anyhow, that shows what derivative would do. Again, as I said uh, several times, it's not very useful. Uh, I've never seen it on a real controller uh, being used. And then the other thing is that uh, um, it can get you into oscillations. If you see all this jerking around going right here, we're moving our uh, gas pedal up and down, up and down, up and down really fast and we'll be wearing that linkage out on that car. This is probably not what we want to do. Anyhow, that kind of shows you what the third controller does. Okay, back to the spreadsheet. With these numbers you can change all kinds of things. We can add like right here. Uh, we make this 150. It's equivalent to having the uh, motor have about 150 percent of the horsepower of what it had to begin with. So we really increased the gain on this car. If we look at that, yeah you can see uh, you can see well, we really boot it right here and uh, you see the gain is decreasing. We've turned our car into a hot rod. Hopefully we don't have to parallel park this thing anymore. So yeah, you can play with all kinds of stuff. You can download the uh, spreadsheet. There will be a link in the uh, video notes that tells you which, which post I put this under. And on that post, you'll be able to find a link that tells you how to download it. I can't send you directly to it uh, from here. I have to go through the post. Uh, you have to be in the... Uh, tried it before you have to be uh, directly in the uh, website before you can download like that anyhow uh, hopefully you got something out of this this one doesn't show as much as the others because it doesn't really work the proportional or I'm sorry the direct integral was the one that uh, really did everything for you appreciate you watching hopefully you got something out of this this is Gary Fox of Great Maker.